Hello there. You clicked on this video because you're curious about what tip I'm about ready to give you that'll help you cast the fly line a whole lot better than you are today. Now, if you're new to fly fishing, this is gonna help a ton. And even if you are a veteran like myself, I'm no spring chicken anymore, and I'm starting to get a little arthritic in my wrist and elbow from almost 40 years of fly fishing. So this technique helps a ton for new fly fishermen and also keeps the strain on us veterans when it comes to casting. That tip is I want you to stop false casting. A lot of new fly fishers, the reason why you're about ready to give up, because every single time you go to do your false casting, you're tangling everything up or the line just falls in front of you in a big heap of spaghetti. And I know how frustrating that can be. That happened with me in the very beginning, right? I felt that I needed to always false cast, which is, you know, wave in line back and forth and back and forth until I finally cast it out. You don't have to do that. You can cast arguably farther without doing that. Now remember, we're not competition casting here. We're just trying to catch some fish. So this tip will work and that is water loading. And what you do essentially is you just do a one pickup and a one lay down. And the water tension on the line, you pick it up quick and throw it out once. And that's called water loading. So you're not false casting at all. So essentially your line's out there, it's tight. You can do a single haul to help speed things up. Single haul it up, throw it out. You're fishing it, single haul it up, throw it out. That is called water loading. And sometimes if you want to get a little bit further out there, you can water load your way out. So water load, water load, water load. There are two things that you have to do to successfully water load. One is you have to be patient with your back cast, right? If you go back and then bring it forward too quickly, it's going to stack up in front of you and you're gonna lose all that energy that's built into the rod. Oh, and be sure to stick to the end of the video too because I got another tip you're gonna to wanna to know about if you're still having frustration with your cast, right? So no false casting, right? And I'm gonna send this thing out there a long way with no false casting. And it's just simply water loading. And what that means is you cast it once, let it sit, pick up, wait for it, cast it again, let a little line come out of your non-casting hand, cast it again, and then do your presentation. Just like that, I cast about 60 feet with very little effort. I'll turn around so you get a better view here. Okay, so watch my non-casting hand. Watch this whole thing. I'm not gonna do any false casting at all. It's literally, I'm just gonna water load it up, let it extend fully behind me, and then throw it back out, letting a little bit of line roll through my non-casting hand. So I'm holding it tight, let it go all the way back, shoot forward, let line fall through your fingers. Okay, do it again. And just like that, I cast all my fly line by just water loading, no false casting needed at all. So let me kind of do a, a real time for you here using 100% water loading. Now for us veterans, right, going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, especially if you're carrying a really heavy fly like I am, a heavier rod and eight weight and heavier line, that could put a strain on your wrist and elbow. So doing this water loading is a lot less effort because generally I can get it out right now, everything. All my fly line out, just like that, just by using a single water load. Now the next thing you should consider is learning how to haul. And a single haul when water loading is just fine. So I'm gonna go this way because we're getting close to the trees. So once the line is out, pull down with your non-casting hand as you're lifting the rod. That creates a lot of extra energy buildup in your fly rod by doing that because you're speeding up the line and loading the rod up quicker. So single haul, pull it up and then let the fly line out. Ready, ready for it again? Okay, I'm gonna single haul it up and then let the fly line out. And just like that, I cast all my fly line. So with that technique, with that water loading plus the single haul, it will really enhance your experience when it comes to fly fishing. Now the tip I wanna give you, and this does make a difference because the market today is flooded with a lot of fly rods that are not very good. 
having a fly rod that can efficiently transfer the energy from rod to fly line is critical when it comes to casting, especially you new, new people out there that are trying to learn to fly cast. If you have a crappy rod and you're struggling, it's because you have a crappy rod. So part of what I recently did is a lot of people can't afford or don't want to afford a thousand to eleven hundred dollar rod. So what I ended up doing is Neil and I designed a rod and sorry, sorry. <laughs> the, the, that's, the hazards the hazards of filming on a boat. Thank you so much, passing boat. So not everybody either wants to or can afford a thousand dollar rod and the better the rod, right, you do get what you pay for when it comes to casting quality, casting ability. All right, well, I hope that helps you. I gotta start up the boat before I'm pushed into the trees. Thanks so much for watching. And hey, if you enjoy a fishing video in a place, it's, the only way to describe it is it's spiritual. <laughs> spiritual. Check out this video right here. I fished this tiny little creek in the Cascade Mountains. Just an absolute great, gorgeous river and a wonderful experience. So if you got 15 minutes, check out this video right here. All right, everybody, until the next time, fish on. Whoa. <laughs>